Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. We're going to do something a little different today. We're going to do another rebuild, but I'm actually playing around with a mod this time that I downloaded off of the uh, the Steam uh, the Steam forum chat, which is great because they've, there's all these people that are building additional cars and things that you can download into the game. And while there's other mods that do things like uh, you can get some custom license plates and stuff, which I should actually download so I can get some Canadian plates, uh, but... The stuff that excites me the most are all these cool cars and stuff that people are putting together, and some of them look really good. Well, I downloaded the mod for the Porsche Carrera. It's a 1973 Porsche Carrera, uh, and I thought that would be a really cool thing to rebuild on stream, uh, in part because it looks pretty sweet. Uh, so it's the Porsche Carrera RS. We'll go grab it from the parking garage. Uh, hello to everyone who's here in the chat already. Uh, hopefully we don't run into any challenges like we had in the stream last night uh, with the sound and what have you. <laughs> I think I've got all that ironed out, so it should be pretty good today. Uh, so thanks to everyone who's uh, who's here already to watch the stream and to chat and everything. Hope you uh, hope you enjoy. With any luck, we'll get this uh, Borsch Carrera put together in relatively short order. Uh, we've getting, actually, we're getting quite a collection in here. I found another couple, another little gem here when I was out hunting around. So here's the Borsch Carrera that I grabbed, and you can see it's in it's in pristine condition. I, I don't think we're really going to have to do much to it. Um, you know, it might just need some license plates, and then it should be ready to go. <laughs> but this is the Borsch we're going to put together tonight. And then I found I found this sucker sitting in the same the same junkyard actually that I found the Porsche Carrera in. So it's called a Tempest Magnum in here, but I, I neglected to go and look up specifically what the car really is, because you know they've got all this uh, this whole fake uh, fake car name thing in here. Uh, yeah, Cash Money, I, I remember you. Uh, I've seen you on a couple streams now, so welcome to the stream. Uh, so what I thought we would do is we'd go first and put together the Porsche Carrera. We'll take it out for a spin and see how it runs. Uh, depending on how much time it takes for us to put this together, then it might be interest interesting to start on this also. Although I don't know if we'll have enough time in the stream to tackle both cars at the, and you know entirely, but it does look pretty sweet. Hi, Deborah Kramer. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining the stream. I'm glad you enjoy the uh, glad you enjoy the channel and the videos. I'm gonna send this off to the garage so that we have something. Now, the neat thing about this was I, I paid like next to nothing for it, so it's five thousand one hundred eighty four dollars. <laughs> now, granted, it's got a lot of it's got a lot of mileage on it. 277,000 kilometers, which might be why it was so cheap. But nevertheless, uh, hopefully when we get this all fixed up, it'll be worth a pretty penny. Oh, it's the it's the Dodge Charger Daytona. It's so funny that they call it a Tempest Magnum then, because they licensed the use of the Dodge name. So why they would why they would come up with like a fake name for it? I don't know. That just makes no sense to me. Nevertheless, well, let's head back to the garage. We get to start on our fancy little Porsche Carrera here. I'm really hoping it's it's got some good handling and stuff. It's you never really know exactly what you're going to get with a mod because they're put together by people who didn't develop the game themselves. But oftentimes they have some really cool stuff that is really well done. Hello, sharpshooter. Welcome to the channel and the stream. Tinker Tim, uh, there is a Camaro. I have it sitting in the garage. There actually, um, it's on a different level. Of the garage. I think I have three levels now, two levels, something like that. Yeah, I did rebuild the Dodge Charger before. Uh, but obviously not the one with the, uh, the crazy fin on the back. All right, so or the spoiler on the back rather. We're gonna need to get this on a lift. As you can see, the engine is correctly placed in the rear of this car, which is good. Uh, and then up front, I guess you know they just have like the, the trunk basically. Oh, they have, they have the battery sitting up here though, so I have to remember to grab that. Uh, but let's send this over to a lift so we can get it all pulled apart. Uh, if you've watched any of these streams before, I think what I like best about uh, about Car Mechanic Simulator on stream is that it gives me an opportunity to kind of hang out and chat with everyone. Uh, because it's not really like a high intensity game by any stretch of the imagination. We just kind of chill out, pull the car apart, we'll put it all back together again, take it out for a test spin. In the meantime, it gives me a nice chance I can kind of interact with all of you, which is good. There are other games that I'm playing that it's really hard to do that, but um, this game, not so much. It's good. Thanks, Cooper Danielson. This is one of those games that when I bought it, I was like, oh, you know, that'd be kind of neat to try it out. I'm not sure what it'd be like, but it might be fun. And I've actually been really enjoying it. And it seems like everyone else is enjoying it too, which is good. Uh, all right, we got taillights we got to pull over here. I think this thing's already bumper free. It's gonna be really. I wonder what'll happen. Like when I take the engine crane and put it over here, is it gonna put it at the front of the car or the back of the car? I really have to wonder about that. I'm, 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 I'm honestly very curious now. <laughs> Yeah, there's not uh, there's not much left of the body of this thing. It's in pretty rough shape. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the battery out of here. In theory. Oh, okay, actually, okay. So yeah, I gotta zoom in still, like it's the engine compartment, even though it's just like a trunk. That's weird. Yeah, I think it would be weird if they built out the car and they put the engine in the wrong end. I mean, it just wouldn't seem right. 
So from what I've seen, the attention to detail that people have when they put these things together is actually quite good. Define enjoying. All right, well, so maybe not everyone's enjoying it, but, <laughs> but a lot of people are. Caitlin's not super into the whole car thing. Now, here's the weird thing. Like, I don't know... What'll be interesting is when we have to put this all back together, um, if there's going to be a lot of free-floating parts, or if there's just things missing here, because the engine is just sort of hanging out back here. It doesn't have, doesn't have a gearbox or anything, so I'm not sure how that works. I mean, the gearbox should be at this end. It's got the, the clutch plate and everything. Maybe it's just missing. I don't know. I'm going to see if I can haul it out. It's already kind of all disconnected and just sitting there. Bumper free. Exactly. It's a cryptic car. You mean all rusted and decrepit? That's right. Just like me. Oh, welcome in Australia. Yeah, look at that. So it still puts the engine crane to the front of the car. Just, I don't know, I guess it's kind of like the way the, uh, the game's designed, but I changed this radio station. All right, so let's see what happens when we try to rip the engine out. Apparently it worked. All right, so there must have been some missing pieces then, because normally you have, there's a few things you have to disconnect before you can take the engine out. But it seems to be... Seems to have been okay this time around. Oh, look at that. It's even got, like, the like, the cooling, like, up towards the top. That's kind of cool. Use an inline 6 i6 because the game's limitations <laughs> instead of a boxer four-cylinder. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they probably might have had to tweak a little bit. <laughs> I mean, like, they're building this stuff out, but the game's not really designed to handle some of the things they're putting in. So sometimes they make little modifications. So, for example, on this car, when you're actually looking at the condition of it afterwards, it'll tell you that... You're missing the right mirror, but the right mirror actually refers to the mud flaps. So you got to like put mud flaps on it. But oh, oh wait, a minute, I got the bearing out. This works much better when I take out the hub bearing. <laughs> Dogs and foxes—that'd be an interesting team up. You're like the fox and the hound. We're going all Disney. So this is supposed to be the uh, the Porsche Carrera mm -hmm. RS, I believe. Oh, I gotta take this off. Get rid of that. Get rid of our front end. Oh, it's, it's so weird to have the fuel tank up front here, but I guess that makes sense. It's gonna be strange. It's like we're putting the car together backwards. Are you worried about uh, fires because you're in Alberta and you're getting close? Oh, you are. Um, you see, I'm in a, I'm in Ontario, but I haven't really been following the whole forest fire thing. It seems like almost every summer now there's something something catching fire out there. Hopefully you stay safe and the fire doesn't uh, doesn't happen to get too close to you. Uh, did I hear correctly they've gotten a 1969 Camaro SS mod for the game too? I'm honestly not sure. I've kind of been poking around a little bit in the, the chat forum because like all the mods, they don't have a Steam Workshop for this yet. I'm really hoping they add one in because that would be amazing. Um, but at the moment, they don't have it, so hopefully they'll add in a Steam Workshop and you'll get a better idea of the different cars and stuff that, that they've added in the game. Um, I don't know if I've seen the uh, seen the Camaro. It could be. I know there's a Mad Max Interceptor car, which is interesting. I was kind of hunting around to see if maybe somebody made, like, the, uh, the car from Knight Rider, but... I wanted one specifically that had, like, the, uh, the little light that would go back and forth on the front of it, but I haven't seen anything like that. <laughs> Pretty much all of Alberta's on fire. That, that stinks. I have family out in Alberta, so that's, that's not so good. Mind you, they're in, they're in Edmonton, and they generally don't get affected by the, the fires too much. Although they did have the... the uh, my, uh, my mom was actually out in Alberta recently visiting, and even in Edmonton... Um, there were days where the, the ash in the sky would, like, change the coloring. It was really weird. They're like rusty trucks with new engines, rust buckets. That's cool. I think when we were building the uh, the old Ford, it was, I mentioned that my dad had a old 50s Ford truck. Just like a farm truck, so it was kind of all beat up. It ran well enough, but the body was definitely not in <laughs> any kind of pristine condition. And he had uh, an old dump truck, too. With, a, like, actual wooden back on it. I don't remember exactly what kind it was. It's a long time ago now. Please, yeah. 
Do a tow truck. Uh, there is actually somebody did a mod of a kind of a tow truck. It's one of the like the the flatbed kind. Um, oh, what am I doing here? Bearing. That's what I got. Uh, so there is there is a kind of a tow truck. I'm not entirely sure whether it's like fully functional. It looks as though the back end of it will tip, so you can like uh, pull the car on. Which is kind of neat. It would be really cool is if you could actually get it to pull a car onto it. <laughs> Air quality statements would be days of the smoke and ashes. Yeah. Ugh, gross. Uh, the game is supposed to be coming out for Xbox One and PS4. They've, they've got the logos and everything in it still when you log in to the game. Um, the last I heard was that they were shooting for a, a Q4 release, which would be between October and December. Uh, but I really haven't noticed anything else about it. Mind you, I honestly haven't also been I haven't been looking for it much either, just because I already have the game. But um, from what I understand, it they were they were looking for a fourth quarter release. Oh, we get uh, got a little wheel hub off of here, knuckle housing. All right, we've almost got the thing all torn apart already. This is, this might actually be a fast rebuild. <laughs> Watch it during class. <laughs> I still think the Trayman would be a perfect car for this game. Yeah, I don't know. There's some. Um, I, I really need to spend a little bit more time going through the mods and seeing what they have. From what I understand, there are some cars that are really expensive. So when you bring them in the game, the price point is set super high. Uh, fortunately, this one was nice and cheap. I was really ecstatic about that because I wasn't sure what it was going to be priced at. And I've kind of been spending a lot of cash lately rebuilding the cars and not not earning quite as much. So I did fix up the other the other Mustang that we had. I sold that off for a little bit of a profit. I've done a couple of jobs to earn a little bit more money too, but what I really should do is just go out to the junkyard and grab spare parts from the piles, fix them, and sell them off, and then I'll probably give it the cash fastest, I would think. Dude, our dad are building a 1969 Dodge Charger RT with a blower. Oh, that's cool. I never got the chance to do too much of that with my dad. He lived in a different province than I did, so it was more like just short visits where I'd see him for a couple weeks every couple years. But he was a mechanic, so he knew about all that kind of stuff. But most of what, because he was on a farm, most of what we were working on was usually like farm machinery and stuff. Okay, we've got the whole car got to design from the interior now, which is good. We can pull this down and grab the seat out of it. Then we'll bring the welder over and get the body fixed up, and then we'll get to, to get to work on the engine. I think. Oh right, I didn't quite mean to sit in it. Uh, disassemble. All right, we've got our fancy seat. Seat 11, leather D. <laughs> I don't know that we're going to be teaming up so much, Kelly Dog. Let's kind of spam it a bit. <laughs> Bought the game last night, but found out your video card was not going to be enough. Oh, yeah, this game is really intensive. It like Even now, I, I try not to move the mouse around too quickly because there's, there's a little bit of a funny lag with it. So I find I can keep it relatively smooth if, I, if I'm conscious of how quickly I move the mouse. But it's it's kind of a it's kind of a memory hog. It it, it doesn't uh, doesn't necessarily perform all that well. I'm kind of hoping that they'll they've had a, a number of different patches that have come up for it, and there has been some improvements. So hopefully they'll keep those coming, and we'll get better and better. Oh, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I just sent that over to the wrong place. I grab my battery and get this cleaning kit. It's a lot more fun than CMS 14, 15, 16. See, I didn't play the other ones. No, I know there was a there were a lot of mods and things that came out for the, for 15, I think it was. So, look, there were a ton of different cars you could grab, which is good. For the interior, maybe put the front seats of the Mazda RX-7. Maybe. I mean, the um, the seat that was in there looked pretty cool. Spend a thousand dollars, we'll fix the body. Oh, look at that. That's a strange kind of a strange color. It's almost like a like an olive drab, only shiny. Weird. All right, so we got the body fixed up. That's great. Let's get this out of here. So I don't trip on it. Not critical duplicate. Now I'm going to charge myself $100 to clean the inside of my car, which confuses me every time. Take it out for a spin. Yeah, all right. Let's, let's get this thing out. We'll get it on the track and see how she goes. Uh, we might have some, some power problems. Maybe a little bit of issues with handling, but I think we'll be good. <laughs> What really stinks is that like, most of the cars, like, you can see the uh, the parking brake in them, but there's no button to use it, which would be really great for like uh, drifting around corners and stuff. But <laughs> I 
first car might be the uh, the Charger or a Miata. Man, that would be an interesting first car to have. Got to pay for the chemicals you clean it. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess there's that. But, I mean, $100 worth of chemicals. I feel like I, I must have gotten some sort of a... Some sort of, like, a, a vendor discount or something, I would think. I guess not. All right, so there's our engine on the stand. We're going to need to rip this all apart. And then I'll get over and we'll actually repair some pieces. This is kind of an interesting setup for the engine. I haven't seen one like this. It's nice. I mean, last the, the last rebuild I did uh, was the RX-7. And that was my first time working with the rotary engine, which was really cool. This is kind of a funky little inline. Uh, I had an 80 Oldsmobile as my first car also. Uh, I think it was an 85 Oldsmobile Cutlass Brom. Bought it for like $200 at an auction in Manitoba because they have government uh, government car insurance there. So when they write off a car, they take it off to auction and then they'll sell it to recover some of the costs that they had to pay out. So you can get like really, really cheap cars that way. And as long as you have the ability to fix it, then uh, you know, you're know good to go. So there's a lot of like... A lot of mechanics and stuff will go out and they'll buy cars and they'll fix them with the intention of reselling them. So I bought this uh, this Oldsmobile for like 250 bucks, and basically like took it home, fixed a little bit on the body that needed doing, put some new tires on it, replaced the brakes, and it was ready to go. So for like less than $500, I had my first car. I put uh, 65 or 70,000 kilometers on it in the first year and just drove it into the ground. <laughs> Of course, they had engine carrier in CMS 15. Oh, so they didn't have this in, in 15? Yeah, so I, I think they, they just sort of they shoehorned a different engine in here in order to, to get something that would fit. Because I don't think they... I don't know. Maybe, maybe they had some limited options in terms of the modding to try to get the engine in it. So it's not necessarily the right engine. But the body of the car looks great. <laughs> There we go. Get this all pulled off. Uh, I think we're just down to getting getting our pistons out of here now. It should be interesting to see what the parts are like for this in terms of like purchasing because I haven't, uh, like I said, I haven't played around with the mods at all. So they have to like mod in the parts that you can buy also. If I can, if I can aim at this piston, that would be great. I can't. There we go. First car was a GMC Astro van. <laughs> It's a ladies' wagon. It's like the perfect high school vehicle. Pick up all the chicks. Literally. They just all fit inside. <laughs> uh, oh, we got a uh, bearing cover. Okay, there we go. All right, so we'll get our crankshaft out of here. Then we'll get our engine fully... No! What is... All right, what's, what's still on here? Oh, the gearbox. <laughs> I forgot this was still on here. Or not the gearbox, but the, uh, the clutch parts. So we'll get them ripped off. It's so weird that... You, so I, I realized when I was doing my last rebuild that you can actually do all the clutch pieces while the thing's on the engine mount, which it makes no sense at all. You sh there's no way you should be able to do that. But whatever, I guess. First car is a 14 Kia Rio hatchback. That's cool. Tiny little car. I drive an Elantra now. <laughs> I do not drive a soccer mom van. <laughs> I've been resistant to the minivan, even with kids. Although I, I have to you know, I confess that sometimes it would be nice to have a little bit more room to carry stuff. But uh, I have an Elantra. It's like a 2000, 2015 or 2016. I think I broke a couple parts here. Ran into blew a rod out. <laughs> My dad had an old uh, an old 80s pickup. <laughs> and I was driving on the on the perimeter highway and, and uh, for the. The Trans Canada Highway in uh, Manitoba, and I, I blew the blew a piston right through the side of the engine. He told me like, "Don't get the car, go don't get this thing going too fast. It's in rough shape, so like, stay off the highway." And you know, me being like 18 or 19 years old at the time, I was like, "Oh, what do you know?" <laughs> I took it on the highway anyway, blew a piston right through the side of the engine. He was not terribly impressed with me, and I I, I don't know why. <laughs> All right, we fixed the block, so that's good. Uh, how about the crankshaft? Crankshaft's good. Uh, we're going to need. A few of these bearing caps. Uh, it looks like we're gonna need one, two, three, four. We're gonna need five of them. We'll grab pistons and stuff here while in here too. Bearing caps. There we go. The one unfortunate thing is when I'm streaming, I can't cut out all the shopping. <laughs> There's a lot of shopping in this game. 
Uh, we're gonna need six pistons and six rings because those are never repairable. I didn't pay attention to the engine, so I'm not sure what oil pan will need. So we'll have to I'll have to deal with that after. Oh, I forgot to get rod caps. Got those two. Six of these. Doom. Blue Dodge Caravan and died on the highway somewhere between Toronto and the Yukon. <laughs> That's kind of a long distance between Toronto and the Yukon. I feel like they're not really all that close together. You couldn't maybe narrow it down a tiny bit. <laughs> what is your dream car or sports car? Not the 50s Corvette. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I would pick probably something more modern, like, um, like an Audi R8 or something. All these pistons. At least you can mass purchase in 1815. You had to buy each individual part. Oh, really? Oh, that would stink. Particularly with all the bushings and stuff I go through. If I had to buy each individual bushing one at a time, oh my gosh, I'd lose my mind. Oh, got a rod cap. Drive down the hybrid car that should be disintegrate itself at any moment at those speeds. Yeah. I uh, I had a I had an old neon too at one point, and I, I seem to have a thing for destroying engines. <laughs> I knew I, w I knew it wasn't in the best of shape, but I was reluctant to buy a new car because I didn't want to I didn't want to take on the car payments at the time. So I just figured I'll just drive it until it's done. And I was driving down the highway, and I heard this loud bang, and then I look in the rearview mirror, and I can see this streak of fluid I'm leaving behind me on the highway. And I was like, well. <laughs> I guess she's done now. Sold it off for scrap for like 200 bucks. Went and bought a new car. Sadly, I've had car payments ever since. <laughs> it was a good thing I good thing I delayed, but I kind of wish I could have delayed longer. Uh, all right, so we need an inline six. We need an oil pan and a filter. Oil. Where's our inline six? There we go. I would say Prairie Province probably maybe meant over Alberta. The oil cap fell off and something went to put. Oh, yeah, that would stink. <laughs> Every time you watch the stream of this, my husband kindly reminds me that my Jeep is currently torn apart in the garage. <laughs> I can work on that instead of watching virtual repairs. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, but that's, you know, that's like work. <laughs> Tearing it apart is the fun part. Putting it all back together, maybe not as much. All right, got that all done on the bottom. Let's flip this thing over. And I'm gonna change the radio again because I hate this song. Of all the generic Muzak, fake, not entirely real songs they put on here, that's one I really don't like. <laughs> Much more fun to watch than, yeah, sometimes. I mean, I think it's interesting to put stuff together. I, I like taking stuff apart and rebuilding it, but. Not that I get a chance to do that with cars so much. You probably notice my general lack of capability. <laughs> Fortunately, every time I've ever worked on a car, in real life, I've never forgotten to put in the oil, even though I do that almost every single time in this game. Okay, I, I don't know if we fixed the camshafts. Ooh, we got one out of two. Uh, camshafts for the i6. Just tired of things breaking when you fix them. Yeah. 95 Grand Cherokee. Yeah, well, see, that's the hard part with, uh, with a, that's a, it's, it's an old car, but it's not, it's not enough to be a classic, so you don't really get maybe as much of a sense of reward out of fixing it. You just get to drive it some more. <laughs> okay, we need a whole bunch of these camshift caps. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen of them. Uh, fourteen of them. See, if I had to buy 14 of these individually, I'd get really frustrated. <laughs> uh, give it time. You may not have broken a car yet, but it'll happen at some point in your life, I'm sure. Unless, of course, you just constantly like buy or lease cars and then they're never more than three years old. And then the likelihood's not so great. But When you're doing the poor student thing, if you ever have the opportunity to be a poor student, I think that's when you really, really find out what you can do to, to use and abuse a car. Uh, Cryptic wants us to remind him about the oil, right? Yeah, yeah, remind me the oil. <laughs> As the car is getting, once we get the engine back in the car, just remind me the oil so I can make sure we don't destroy our Porsche Carrera. 
Mind you, it won't even let it out of the garage if you don't put oil in it, but... <laughs> yeah, just spam oil when I get the engine back in the car. One or two comments I might miss, but if you're spamming oil, I'm sure I'll see it. Yeah, there's a lot of these things to put on. I've thrown a rod in two cars. Yeah, I've, I think, um, I'm not sure. I never really found out what happened with my Neon, because it just wasn't worth it to try to repair it. I just assumed it was toast. But it might have been a rod there also, you know, given the fluid I left on, this, on the road. Alright, I'm going to grab spark plugs. Uh, we're going to need an alternator. And we might as well get carburetors too, I guess. I missed all of your comments. Oh, sorry. <laughs> in this game, I can't move the mouse pointer off of the off the game screen to scroll back in comments. It makes it a little hard to catch things sometimes. Um, throttle, that's what I was looking for. Uh, or was it the throttle? No, oh, carburetor, duh. Burned off a car when you did it. When you hit a diesel on the road and a gorge crashed. Man, this, this for some reason the comments come in is like really weird sometimes from YouTube gaming. <laughs> it's got like weird spacing in the lettering. It's hard to read. I've been fortunate enough that when I when I wrecked my cars, I didn't I didn't really crash them. They just sort of gave up on me. <laughs> I haven't had any bad accidents, which is good. Can you imagine instead of door handles on cars, but a doorknob? Oh, that would be funny. Not very stylish looking, but it would be funny. Uh, what else was I going to grab in here? Oh, yeah, spark plugs. And I should grab a fuel filter while I'm in here, too, just so I don't forget that. That'll save me an extra step in here. There was something else I was going to grab, but I don't remember now. They didn't have a notes option in CMS 15 either. Oh, my gosh. That, see, I I have a hard time using the notes cause, just because I have a... I have a brain like a goldfish. <laughs> so when I'm when I'm playing the game, sometimes I forget to add things to the notes. It, now when I when I finally got in the habit of doing it, it was relatively handy, although a lot more cumbersome than I thought it needed to be. But to not have it at all would certainly stink. Can you be my son? Not so much. <laughs> I have daughters already. I'm good with two daughters. Yeah, it is better to have it slowly die, I guess, than have a sudden impact. That's a, that's a rough way to write off a car. That whole potential for personal injury is just a little bit much. Okay, so we've got that all together. What am I missing here? Cam gears. We need two of those. Cam gears for the i6. Oh, yeah, I was getting an alternator, too. Thank you. I'm telling you, mine like a goldfish. <laughs> That's probably why I can't remember to put the oil in. Uh, is it going to be the... Oh, see, now here's the trick. Is it going to be the I6B, or are they just going to go with a regular alternator? Let's see if I can get an angle on it. Just a regular alternator. Mom's old Ford Escape got T-boned like a block. Oh, that would stink. The Ford Escape's a small car, too. I mean, getting T-boned in that thing, you're not really getting a ton of protection. Hi, William Quaid. Okay, we're gonna need probably. Do we, no, we didn't fix the water pump. Actually, I must not have had the water pump at all. This didn't even tell me that I had a broken one. Uh, let's see. It was plain old water pump, was it? What kind of water pump? Again, goldfish brain. I six. Was there the parts you bought not showing up ever found? I'm confused. Uh, the reason for the parts you bought not showing up ever found. I'm not sure I'm, I'm catching what you're meaning. Again, brain like a goldfish. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, we need a timing chain. Pa yeah, so at least on the passenger side, you've got a little bit more protection, but still, that's got to be really hard on the body. chain sprocket that did not get repaired uh actually there's one right there perfect i hope to never be in a serious accident like that because man potential for personal injury like i said just not uh not good 
That's the kind of stuff that hangs around with you, too, if you get injured in something like that. Yeah, Caitlin had a bad car accident, unless she doesn't talk about it. Uh, I don't. <laughs> I got reading the chat and I totally forgot what I was even coming in here for. Oh, yeah, water pump pulley. <laughs> uh, I think they'll add multiplayer for racing for friends. I kind of doubt it. This seems like the game's largely complete at this point. I mean, they're, they're still adding a few things to it, but I can't see them adding something major like that. It would be really cool, though. Like I've said before, like, it would be neat if this was kind of an amalgam game where they had, like, car mechanic simulator, like, blended with BeamNG so you could, like, destroy your car. And, uh,. And then something where you like race with other people and things, that would be pretty cool. Uh, I need a crankshaft pulley. Can't read anything on the stream because Tropical Depression Jose is messing with the service. Oh, that stinks. So you have you must have it set on a low uh, a low resolution then. Like a low quality. So we're rear ended bent the frame. Oh, ouch. Man, it sounds like you guys have had worse luck with cars than I have. At least my, mine just kind of broke, but I, at least I didn't get smashed. Um, I have played Grand Theft Auto, but I, I don't just... I, I can't say I actually play it. Uh, I'm, I'm betting this will be the uh, inline six distributor cap we'll need, so I'll grab that too. I actually played uh, Grand Theft Auto V when it came out on the Xbox 360. Oh, I had an extra rotor in there. Um... But I haven't really played it on the Xbox One. I didn't bother buying it because I I'd already played it a bit. And then I was kind of getting into other things. It's it's actually interesting how long, like, how long the legs on that game have run for. The dear friend of yours, never any accidents involving people or cars. Oh yeah. Oh deer run in. Oh, ouch, that would hurt. Hitting a deer is really dangerous. If it gets, if it gets like up on top of your car, man. Engine head cover. All right, engine head cover for the i6. There we go. Almost worked a workshop a couple of months ago. Thirty ton scrap metal container. Oh my gosh! Yeah, you don't want to roll that. Do you play World of Warships? No, I haven't tried that. There are so many games coming out now all the time. It's so hard to keep up. Moose, well, yeah, I guess moose would be worse. <laughs> They're kind of massive. That is definitely something I hope I never run into. Not that there's any, you know, I mean, where I am, we're not really going to run into moose, but. Uh, ignition wires for the i6. There we go. Haha. <laughs> Hi, Bob Cotta. Did I see the eclipse? Uh, in Canada, where I am, we only saw a partial eclipse. So it was about 75%. Not a, not a full eclipse. Uh, but I was I was busy working. I didn't really take the time to go check it out. Uh, I need some round air filters on here. Round air filters. There we go. Need three of these. Since I always forget until, like, the end of the stream, uh, I'll mention also that um, we do have a Discord server um, that we like to hang out and chat in. So there's a bunch of people that, that follow the channel pretty regularly. Um, they like to hang out in the Discord and chat. So if you like to, to chat, you're looking for other people to play games with, I may, you might be interested in that. There's a link. Uh, should be in the description below for both uh, YouTube and Twitch. I think I have it on. You can check that out. I pop in there periodically to chat as well. Uh, often late at night when I'm editing videos and things, but... Uh, Serpentine belts B. Man, totally blind. <laughs> I think it was right in front of me. Lurker beside you. His uncle accidentally a train off its. Tra oh my gosh, really? Knocked a train off the tracks twice? That is crazy. I mean, once it is achievement, but twice, that's just crazy. Serpentine belt A. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> uh, this is the one I want. Almost the same, but not quite. Okay. What else have we got left to put on this thing? This is kind of a strange engine. It's very blocky. 
And there's a lot of openings here. I don't really, I don't really get what the deal is with the whole side of it being open. It almost looks like there should be an exhaust manifold there, and I'm not even getting an option to put one on it. The interesting thing with a mod like this is I'm sure there'll be stuff that just seems really weird. Do you guys have a professional drag car? Oh, that would be crazy. Throw a flywheel in here. We'll see if maybe we got lucky and fixed the, fixed the clutch plate. Clutch plate? Yeah, we did. And the pressure plate I pretty much never fixed. Yep. Clutch pressure plate. We'll grab the clutch bearing here too. The manifolds go on in the car. Oh, okay. I guess that would make sense. Did you actually? If, is, is there anyone else that's playing Carbon Mechanic Simulator 2018 that might have put this together already? Because this is actually just from the forum. Um, I can't remember the name of the guy that, that did it. I, again, remember like a goldfish, but I put his name in the description uh, at the bottom of the video. Okay, so it looks like it looks like the engine's pretty much ready to go at this point. Let's grab this off the mount. Or off the stand, rather. Grab that. We'll go plug it on here and stick it back in the car. Boom, sweet. Okay. Get rid of this thing. <laughs> it does look like the thing over the garbage disposal, yeah. <laughs> okay, so it takes up a fair amount of the engine compartment, but not too not too crazy. Well, actually, there's a fair amount of empty space in here once we get underneath the the rad, which is way up top. Brake servo, we did not fix. Uh, and the Ferrari mod, same engine. Oh, is it? Okay, that's cool. That Ferrari looks pretty sweet. This is the first one I've downloaded, so I haven't tried any of the other mods yet, but I'm going to start doing more of these, I think. The cars look... They, they, some people do some pretty cool stuff. Alright. Uh, gearbox. Uh, I'm going to have to get this thing up in the lift. Can I do face cam one day? Uh, I don't know. I'm not really super into the whole face cam thing. I mean, I've, I've had, uh, I've been on cam in videos a, a few times. Gearbox inline four. So they have an inline four gearbox on the inline six engine. Just, I guess, just to make it fit, because they needed it to be relatively small. Uh, let's see. Inline four rear wheel drive. Okay, there we go. Just to try to level up to be able to fix. Yeah, I really should be. Able <laughs> I should do that. <laughs> I'm level 31 now, so I did a little bit of work to level up. But I've been busy playing like a bunch of different games, and to be entirely honest with you, I'm, I'm mildly ashamed to admit I've uh, I've killed a fair amount of time on uh, on the Fortnite Battle Royale lately. <laughs> I really should be uh, spending more time recording and less time playing that. But front exhaust section I six. Should do an on call order and just completely rebuild the car. <laughs> Front exhaust. Uh, where are we here? Front exhaust session. I uh, six. There we go. Oil. Yes, oil. We'll remember to put the oil in. I've got to. I've got to get the car down off the stand here before we can do it. Uh, we're gonna need two exhaust manifolds. Let's see. Two exhaust manifolds in line six. There we go. Shame on me. <laughs> I know. It's so bad. Oh, I gotta go. Really? I have to put this on from the engine bay? That would be a really strange way to reach these things. But I guess you can't really see, like, the, the, the body portion of the car that's in the way, I guess. Look at that. No muffler or anything. Just a little pipe sticking out the side of the car. <laughs> little adjustments they had to make for to make it fit in the, uh, fit in the mod, I guess. Okay, let's see if we can get around to the back of this thing. Get our exhaust manifolds on. This is a superpower. I bet the uh, the average car mechanic wish they had. Just fly through the inside of a car. Stick the parts on at will. Uh, the oil. Yeah, yeah, the oil. We'll put the oil in. I'll do that now. Before I forget. Particularly since it's hidden underneath the radiator in this thing. <laughs> they really have to take out the engine and replace the headers, too. Yeah. 
Okay, radiator A we'll put in here. Is there anything else in the engine compartment I have to do before I put this radiator in? Oh, the starter. That's that's a minorly important piece of the car. We'll get the entire thing completed and get in and turn the key. It'll go click. Uh, what'd we do wrong? What do you mean he's probably going to do it again? Do what again? I just put oil in. We're good. We're good. Uh, radiator A. Left to my own devices, you're right. I probably would have forgotten again. Because again, brilliant over here. Super genius. Yeah, that's right. Who needs a starter? We'll just roll it downhill. Oh. Uh, wow, that's a weird setup. Okay, radiator hand fan housing B. Fan housing B. And I guess I'm going to need the fans for this, too. The radiator's the cool part. But a bump. Oh, stop the punishment. Okay, I think we have the engine all finished in here. Sweet. Man, they did a good job of cramming that thing in there. <laughs> yeah, the old crack start motors. Oh, the crank starts. Yeah, yeah, we'll just put a little crank on the front here and then just crank it up before we go. Uh, I'm going to put the battery here before I forget. Assuming I can... Uh, how do I... How... Okay, this is weird. <laughs> I can't click on the front of this thing. How do I put the battery back in? No, I actually have to aim at the battery. Duh. There we go. Okay. So we have all that. I guess it's onto the suspension now. Get this thing lifted up. What color should we paint this? I haven't thought about that. I mean, for the thumbnail, I just used white because that was uh, that was like the standard color that it was in when I when I pulled it up in the garage. But I need to figure out a good color for it. Yeah, we don't need any. We don't need anything under the car. It could roll perfectly fine like this. All right, let's see what we actually managed to fix down here. Only one of the the, uh, the knuckle housings, unfortunately. Wheel hub. Both of those are good. There we go. Uh, we are going to need wheel hub bearings, so might as well grab those now. No radiator hose. Well, there's no hoses at all in this game, really. We've got hosers, but no hoses. Uh, okay. Did we fix the suspension arm? Yeah, both of them. Nice. Oh, I'm going to have to remember to buy bushings. I don't know how many I have on me. Two. <laughs> yeah, it's going to go really far with two bushings. Um... Upper arm. I need bushings for that. Alright, I'm gonna grab bushings. Yeah, it's funny they uh, they stash the, the battery way up at the front. Grab like, I don't know, grab like a dozen of these, I guess. And I got a few of the small ones too. I don't even know if I need them. But just in case. Is there a Datsun in the game? I don't know. I was kind of impressed they had the, uh, the old Ford Pinto. When I was a kid, I drove back from uh, from Alberta in an old Ford Pinto. My, obviously, I wasn't driving because I was a kid, but <laughs> I just remember being an excruciatingly long ride in a very small car. And it turns out they were a bit of a death trap, those things. Rear suspension arm. I only fixed one of those. But one is better than none. Sway bar end like never gets fixed. I gotta sell off my junk, too. Need to see an El, Cal El Camino. I've got, uh, I've got at least one of those in the garage. Rear sway. Oh. Um, sway bar rear end light. There we go. Just got done with one of my videos. Well, hello, baby slay. Welcome to the stream, then. Uh, spring cap. Ooh, I fixed one. That's novel. Uh, the springs never get fixed, so I'm going to buy those. Now we're gonna need shocks. Um, I don't think this is a double wishbone shock back here. No. Was it an A or B? Man, A. Gosh. Two of these. Uh, we're gonna need two of the shock absorber caps back here. Porsche 911 pen. 
Panamera Turbo got stolen today. Oh my gosh. Like a real a real Porsche 911? Or were you just playing like Grand Theft Auto when somebody took it for a drill ride? <laughs> if you have a real one, I'm, I'm mildly jealous because it's uh, slightly better and, and slightly higher performance than the uh, 2015 or 2016 Elantra I have. <laughs> I'd love to cruise around in a Porsche. Not going to happen anytime soon. Okay, this side looks like it's finished the sign for the brakes. I guess I could deal with those. Um, plain old brake disc. I'm surprised they're not ventilated. Car's looking much shinier now. Yeah, it does tend to do that as you put new parts on it. Oh, brake pads I forgot to do. Let's grab brake pads. I need four of those. Caliper. Ah, I got three of the three of the little cylinders fixed, but the last one we're gonna have to buy. Not a big deal. Super cheap. All right, I'm not gonna deal with the wheels just yet. We'll deal with those after. Let's get over here. Uh, the I only fixed one of these two knuckle housings, so we're gonna have to do that. Uh, rear axle knuckle housing A. I think it was. Yeah. It's the uh, Canadian rear rear knuckle housing. So it's almost time for the test track. Uh, a little bit yet. So we have to do the front suspension still on this. Uh, then we have to get in and give it a good paint job. Double check we have all the parts and stuff on, and then we'll take it out for the test spin. Rear... I don't even know what I was looking for now. It was the lower suspension arm, but... There we go. Suspension arm B, that's what I need. But 80% of the Reaper car was actually brand new. Pretty much. I mean, all we did was, like, weld the body on it. Again, kind of an odd way to fix a car. Oh, look, the car is all rusted out and it's dying. Well, well, well the body, it'll be fine. <laughs> Just make the whole new body out of, uh, out of welding flux. It'll be perfectly good. Uh, wheel hubs. Yes, got that. That one's good. I think this rear suspension arm. Oh, I did get them both fixed. All right, cool. Good times. Waiting for GTA San Andreas to finish downloading. Cool. It's amazing how many things... I, I would miss a Porsche, too, if it went missing. I hope you <laughs> I hope you get it recovered, but... That would really suck. Keep the green that's on it? You think so? <laughs> that's a pretty nasty color. I don't know. Uh, rear suspension arm A. I'm, I, I think it would be fun if I could make this car fly, but I have not had any success doing that since the one time I did it by accident. Now that I'm trying to do it on purpose, I can't seem to get it to happen. Bit of it, but I want to stop by and slow. Hello, Spazzy. Long time no see. Welcome to the stream. It's been a while. Yeah, I'm going to try to get this car to fly, but like I said, I, I've been trying for a while now with uh, with pretty much every car that I take out to the track, and I, I can't get one to, <laughs> to to hit just the way that that one did, to flip it up in the air and get it off out of the track. That was pretty sweet. We'll see, though. Maybe the Porsche will be uh, will be the magic for us, and we'll, we'll get it over that... Uh, Oh, need a spring cap. Get it over the wall. <laughs> Drive it around and, and never, never land again. I'm kind of... I actually am really curious to see what... What did I... What am I missing here? Spring cap. Did I spell it wrong? Nope. All right. I'm sure there's one here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Let's just zoom down. Or scroll down, rather. I'd like to ask you uh, to do these streams earlier in the day, but I know you have a tight schedule and people... Yeah, I would really like to be able to do them earlier in the day. I really would. Um, because it's it's rough for me even. Like, when I wrap up at, like, midnight, uh, I'm never ready for sleep then. So, consequently, I have... <laughs> I have, like, very little sleep. Because I, I end up going to bed really late at night, and then the kids are up really early. And for whatever reason it is, they just really love to ensure that no one in the house can sleep if they're awake. <laughs> so... Um, I'd like to do the streams earlier, but it's, you know, with the uh, work and family commitments, that's just not going to happen. Not unless for some reason my channel gets ridiculously successful and I suddenly decide it makes a whole lot more sense to do this full time. But for now, it's just fun. It's a hobby. I like that the channel's growing. Which is kind of cool, um, but it's still just fun for me now. Family friendly, like a nice wholesome round of Monopoly. Oh yeah. Um, I don't know how your family played Monopoly, but my family didn't really play it in a family friendly way. 
I remember bribery, extortion. Uh, there might have been some muggings involved. It was rough in those Monopoly streets. Rough. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to put our shocks together because we just don't have those. One of the covers. One wheel hub. Man, we're getting like singles of everything. Alright, we have ventilator brakes in the front. I'll need to grab because I didn't get those. And we'll need the wheel hub cap. Thanks, Pazzy. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's been growing pretty nicely. Uh, wheel hub caps. We need two of these. Grab some brakes. Two of those. Chocolate board game was Trivial Pursuit. Yeah, I used to play that a lot also. There was another one I liked too that, it, not when I was a kid, I was older by then, but um, it had like, uh, it was a trivia game, but it also had stuff like you had to do like charades and make stuff out of Play-Doh. Um, gosh, I can't remember the name of it now. It's going to bug me now until I think of it. Um, but it was pretty good. Did we fix the steering rack? Yes, we did. Tie rods, I never fix. Your red Porsche. We'll shall see. Let's see what it looks like. Brain, yeah, it was brain something. That's right. Um, and sadly, my brain doesn't work, so I'm, I'm not going to be able to think of it. It's definitely brain something. <laughs> Uh, front steering knuckle B. Have a good night, Rick. Thanks for coming to check out the stream. Front steering knuckle B. There we go. Cranium. That's what it was. So it didn't actually have the word brain in it. <laughs> but it was cranium. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, that's it. It's, it's got brain in the name. That, that's, that's exactly what it was. He's got it, but no. It was cranium. I used to love that game. Bottom suspension arm. Is it a B? I can't remember. No, it was not. Almost bought the wrong one. Yeah, Google for the win. Good job. <laughs> okay, we got our. I think I might actually need to buy more bushings. More bushings. It had a brain on the box. You're right. Yeah. That's probably why I was thinking it was something to do with the brain. Insane in the membrane and all that. Though the cranium there would be no brain, only slush, yeah. But just think how much business the football helmet industry would do. Just be for like average street wear. Uh, front axle knuckle cover, we got that. Front wheel hub. Very slowly getting this all finished. <laughs> so many parts to buy. What time is it in Toronto? Uh, it is, I don't know. I don't even know. It's uh, like 5 minutes to 11 right now. Time flies when you're building a, when you're rebuilding a Porsche in record time. <laughs> I wish I could rebuild a full car this quick. It would be amazing. Not to mention buying one for like $5,000. Risk, yeah, I used to play a lot of Risk too. Not so much with my family, but with friends. Again, it was not. It was a very criminal enterprise. <laughs> uh, I need calipers. <laughs> Remember never winning. I had a buddy who was really good at Risk, and he, uh, he had a tendency to, to win a lot of games. Okay, so I'm gonna need a fuel tank and then we'll get our shocks going and then deal with our tires, I guess. Fuel tank. Probably will want a fuel pump. Oh, it's a it's a fuel pump. <laughs> it's a foreign car now. What are the parts that are automatically in your shop? That'd be really nice. It'd be kind of cool if if it actually um, like as you took the parts off, it would just add it to the shopping list for you automatically, so you didn't have to do it. There's just so much about this game that just doesn't cater to my laziness. Makes me think. Use that. Trying to make me use my brain power. Bad. Uh, front sway bar. These never fix, I don't think, now. Uh, 
Yeah, those would be big engines. Four-story house, yep. Fairly large. Let's take one of those, we'll pop it in the front of our Porsche and see how it goes. Four hours ahead here, uh, Risk, yep, ally with the weak. To, yeah, to, yeah, I used to like, uh, <laughs> when I was playing Risk, I used to like taking, uh, taking Australia, because I could grab it quickly, and then you only had to defend one way into your, in, into your territory. Sadly, it didn't produce as much in terms of resources, but... Was that an A or a B here? I think it was an A, right? No, it was B. Good thing I didn't just guess. I would have been wrong. <laughs> brain powers? I ain't got ain't got no brain powers. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> it's probably good thing I checked this. I didn't have it on, on this side either. <laughs> we don't need these mechanical parts. Any parts you can save. And not having to put it back together. It's good car savings. Monopoly game where you play until somebody flips the table in rage. Pretty much, yeah. Is what sarcastic? Uh, okay, so double washbone shock absorber. Let's get those. Give me the shocks. No, not a shock. I need a shock. There we go. Two of these, I need two caps, two springs. Perfect. Uh, while these are going back together, then I will probably start to pull the tires apart and we'll see what they're like. I wonder if we'll be able to fix the rims. That'd be neat. Oh, Settlers, uh, Settlers of Catan. It was a game I never played, oddly enough. That's one of those games that you kind of feel like you should, like, you just, like as you're growing up, you just, if you play strategy games, it's something you really should play. And it was one of those games I just never did. I don't know why. Uh, Alright, so we got Retro Rim 9s. And these are 215-60-R15. Fifteen inch wheels. Yeah. Can't believe it because it's pure chance. Oh. Well, I mean, there's a there's a lot of randomness in games. Daniel Holland, hi, 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 but please don't spam. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of this. Uh, I've got another. Oh, come on. No, stop clicking. Got another shock to put together over here, so we'll grab this one. This one all slapped together. We can get the tire off over here now. Put the next one on. No strategy game. Bloody game of chance. Well, yeah, there is that. Couldn't finish watching you play only last night. Did they survive? Yep, they survived. <laughs> Mouse Trap. That's a good game, too. <laughs> At least I remember it being a good game. Uh, yeah, that's one of those games, though. I think I spent more time just building the Mousetrap and playing with the Mousetrap and not actually playing the game. <laughs> Alright, have a good night, Cash Money. Good luck at school tomorrow. Very glad that I don't have school tomorrow, although I do have work, so I guess there's six to one, half a dozen the other. Still hope Forza games? Yeah. I never really played uh, too many racing games. I played... Um, what was the one for the uh, that was big on the PlayStation? Hi, Dale Fernley. Welcome to the stream. Okay, these are all Mazda tires, so I don't need that. Let's see if we can fix these rims. Hungry, hungry hippos. Yeah. Ooh, we do get a chance to fix them. And I think I fixed them all. Sweet. That'll save me a good a good chunk of coin. Okay, we're gonna need tires now, so let's see, all tires. I didn't I didn't pay attention to actually what kind of tires they were. Should we put racing tires on this, you think? What kind of tires did it have on it? Man, I have too much junk in here. I seriously need to sell my junk. Vintage tires. Ah, we'll go vintage, why not? Hungry Hungry Hippos, the game of pounding on the game board while making as much noise as humanly possible and hoping to get a couple of the little marbles. <laughs> um, Were they Vintage Tires or Vintage Tires Bees? I guess Vintage. Whatever. We'll get these. Operation? Yeah, zap. Seem to be a better pilot than a race car driver. Yeah, I'm definitely not much of a race car driver. 
Let's do four of these. Uh, they're 15s, two 15s. And a profile of 60. Those are fat tires. <laughs> You're listening. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Gran Turismo. That's what it is. Yeah. I used to play Gran Turismo. Yeah, I do want a little bit of traction. <laughs> I hate sliding around with, like, no control whatsoever. Oh, right. I gotta put them on. The yeah. I bought the tires, but I gotta kind of put them together. Minor detail. Uh, retro rim nine. There we go. So go this route. Stick all the vintages. Projects have taken over your life. Hi, Golden King. Did you just pop in, or have you been in here a little while? What was the name of the motorcycle game where you could beat with? Oh, um, Road Rash. I loved Road Rash. I totally played that. I actually um. When I was a, <laughs> I was a bit of a geek when I was in high school. I know it's hard to imagine as I'm a 40-year-old man playing video games on live stream. <laughs> but I was a bit of a geek. And uh, I was in the, like, the school concert jazz bands. And we, we had a, a band exchange trip to Newfoundland. And when we were there, I was staying at somebody's house and they had Road Rash. And we just played like ridiculous hours on that. Just popped in three hours to finish the project. Ooh, that stinks. Good luck getting that done. Yeah. I, at the time, I, I vaguely recall the graphics being amazing. <laughs> but it's funny to look back at it and see just how bad they really were. But There was just something about, like, booting by somebody on a motorcycle and hitting them in the face with a chain to knock them off that was somehow very appealing to me as a, as a teenager. Simpsons Road Rage. I don't think I, I, don't think I played that. Heard a few streams ago, you didn't know if there was a fox emoji. Yep, there is a... Well, is that a fox, though? It's kind of gray. That's more like a wolf. I mean, ultimately, there'll be more fox emojis in my channel if I, as we build up more uh, more sponsors. So they un they rolled out the whole sponsor thing yesterday. I think it was yesterday now. The days are all blending together. And with that, as you increase the number of sponsors you have, you get to unlock custom emojis. So I have one that I've put in so far that's like my face because people are using it all the time in the uh, in the Discord chat. So we put that one in, but as we as the sponsors grow, we'll add in some more custom ones. So I'm sure there'll be some other little fox ones, too. And that little badge that Caitlyn has, too, there. That's another little custom thing we were able to do. Teammates barely did... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's the worst. The hard part is when you get stuck with a team... And you have to do all the work. But the reality is, if, if you say, forget it, I'm not doing it, <clears throat> then you get stuck with uh, the, the crappy outcome also. I never liked teamwork specifically because of that. All right, let's get uh, let's get our car back together here. If we can get our shocks in and our wheels on this thing. We pretty much... Oh, totally messed up this pattern. <laughs> it's good, this, good thing this isn't a real car. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Another front tire. The emoji tab is super lag. Oh, is it? That kind of stinks. Yeah, I think I remember being in a few projects where uh, the people I was with were, were just dead weight also. And I think I forgot to grab the other shock off the stand. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. There we go. All four tires on. Sweet. Okay, we got our shock in here, and then all we have to do is deal with the body and get it all painted up. And she'll be good as new. Hopefully. Probably should check it. Hold on. Global parts 100, frame 100, interior. So we just basically have to do the body. It's funny. It says I have interior condition 100%, even though it doesn't have any seats. I guess it just doesn't pay a lot of attention to that. <laughs> All right, let's bring this down to our level, and then, um... No, that's not what I want. Oh, I didn't know I could answer the phone from there. Man, I've been running all the way over there like a chump. Four Square RS. Do you agree with me? You tend to be the dead weight. <laughs> nice. Uh, Porsche Carrera. 
There we go. Let's see how expensive all these things are. I really do need to get that my level up so I can actually fix parts. Instead of buying them all the time. Not that it's real money or anything, it's just pretend, but... I do go through a lot of the pretend monies. Almost time for the test track! Very soon! And then you can all witness my horrible driving. That, actually, that, that looks kind of neat with the two-tone color. The, the gloss with the flat, actually. I don't, I don't know what it is. It looks kind of neat to me. Okay, I gotta get around to the back here. This thing didn't even have a hood on it when I found it in the junkyard. Uh, get our mud flaps. <laughs> the mud flaps say right side mirror. That's funny. Right taillight. Left taillight. Almost done. We pretty much just need plates. Well, plate, plates and a paint job anyway. All right, let's get some plates on this thing. What uh, what plates should we get? What do we want? What do we want plate wise on this thing? Andorra, that's cool. Bulgaria, Colorado, Dubai. Hmm. Nevada plates, New York plates. Red Dot City. I really need to get the. Uh... Oh, Utah. That actually looks cool. Uh, I don't have the. I don't have the mod to get to Moldovia. Is that is that even in here? They they are. Okay, we're totally getting Moldo Moldovian plates. Uh, let's see. We'll call this uh, cryptic. No, cryptic. No, cryptic seven. Whatever. Or I could spell it right. Hold on. There. <laughs> uh, we'll grab two of these. All right, our car will be from Moldova. I really need to get the uh, get the mod that lets you have Canadian plates because I don't have any cars with Canadian plates on them. Nope. Nope. There we go. Okay. Oh, actually, we need to do the interior on the car too. I guess that would be kind of a necessity. Close our hood. Look at that. It's looking sharp. I'm gonna get this on the ground. Actually, I don't even have to put it down. I guess I can just send it this way. Uh, we'll send it over by the door. I forgot a mirror. Uh, no, actually, there is no right side mirror on this car. Um, so I didn't miss one. It's fine. Instead, when you when you actually go to the, the mud flaps, it says right side mirror for the mud flaps, which it's just a, a funny little thing with this particular mod. Uh, but this car does not have a right side mirror. Okay, we need an interior. So what kind of seats did I have already? I think it was like seat 11, right? Something like that? I didn't notice what, what kind of a bench seat we're going to have to put in here either. That'll be tricky. Let's see. Interior. I don't imagine they put in specific Porsche parts in here. No, they did not. Um, so, I'm going to need like a generic bench seat for the back of this, but I'm not sure which one's going to fit. Parts have to be at least 16% to fix them, yeah. Try driving the car without seats. You can't even get in without the seats, unfortunately. Yeah, it is really funny. They have multiple plates, but not Canadian. But I think the thing is, like, the the game itself is um, is a little bit more international. Okay, so this had um, seat 11 leather D. So I'm going to put these back in. Uh, we need a steering wheel. I kind of want something with, like, a wood grain. Hmm... I'm going to go with this one, I think. Steering wheel three. And now I need to figure out the bench. Does this even, actually, I should check and see. Does it even require a bench in this thing? It's got the, it's got space for it back there, but I don't even know if it needs it. Uh, come on. What's going on here? There we go. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, good. Phew! Nice. Okay, it's all together. We just have to paint this thing up now. If I can get out of the normal... There we go. <laughs> I can't get out of the mode. <laughs> Who needs seats? We'll just put like a little soapbox in there. 
Uh, all right, let's check the condition. It is 100% across the board now, which is good. Everything's lit up nicely. It doesn't recognize the fan housings, but that's okay. It's still showing 100% up here, so I guess that's fine. So car value, 32319 with a restoration bonus of 5386 which is pretty close to what I paid for it. So we basically made like, I don't know, after parts and stuff, we probably made a good $20,000 on it, which is neat if we, if we actually fix it, but... Uh, there's also San Marino plates. Oh, neat. All right, so let's send this off to the uh, to the paint bay. We'll pick a color for it. Rust bucket brown. <laughs> let's bring out the rust on this thing. It looks oddly neat with the two-tone on the front of it anyway. I don't know. I wonder if they do any livery for this. I didn't check. Okay, so we have uh, metallic paint. That's fine. Oops, oh, not matte. Duh. Metallic. Uh, let's see. We can do... Yeah, I don't want it black. Let's get some bright colors in it. Ooh, a yellow. Let's do a yellow one. This is sickly banana yellow. <laughs> All right, so there's red, yellow, getting into the greens. The current color is this one, which is almost like a, almost like a drab green. Can, can you review on safe cars? <laughs> Painted a bright color. Science's bright colors are faster. That's right. Darn right, they're faster. <laughs> Let's make it purple. <laughs> Maybe not. Make it like a dark purple color. I don't know what color to make this thing. Uh, let's see, maybe... Ugh, God, this is ugly green. Orange? <laughs> Make it like an orange. <laughs> an orange Porsche. Red is a sport girl. Right, I'll go with the red. Crank it all the way up. Uh, livery? There is no livery for this, so I don't have to worry about that. Paint the car. Purple? That's not a bad blue. Yeah, there are actually a couple colors near it. I kind of... Purple might be a funny color to do this in. I can figure out how to get the color tone on it I want. Oh, look at that. Nice dark purple. That's what you want. Right there. Nice dark purple. Blue. I don't know. I'm going to leave it red for now. Oh, actually, I like that color red even better. Check it out, camera-wise. Sweet. Make it magenta or something unique. <laughs> I should make it like a really crazy purple color. Make it for a good thumbnail. Then I could then I could title the stream. Who would do this to a Porsche? <laughs> okay, let's send this out to the uh, out to the door over there. We'll see what it looks like in a little little bit different lighting because the light, lights in here look kind of weird. Hi, Jenna Geiger. Geiger. I don't know how to pronounce that. All right, here's our Porsche all finished up. I like the color, but I think I actually do want something brighter. I don't know. I might play around with the paint colors later. Let's take this thing out for a spin. Hopefully it runs. Okay, we'll go to uh, the racetrack, because I want to see if we can get this thing off the track again. Which should be fun. I think I, I've probably taken a good half a dozen cars to the track after we got the uh, the Shelby off the track, and I cannot, for the life of me, get another car to fly off. How are we looking here? That's pretty sharp. Let's see how it runs. Oh, only slid a little bit. That's not bad. <laughs> it does look good. I like this car. It seems hopefully the handling on it's good too. Oh, a little slippery. No, 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 no. Ah. Uh, I kind of wish I had a handbrake. Like, it's really hard to drift in this. Yeah, it's not a challenge for me to crash it. The challenge is for me to get it to fly. <laughs> Crashing's the easy part. There we go. Plus, again, with the whole keyboard steering thing, I really should have connected my controller. No, 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 no. Ugh. 
I kind of want to make like the back end fish around so we can drift it around a corner, but I have a really hard time getting it to, to drift out that way. Except when I don't want it to, and then it does, then it does it easy. Ah. <laughs> no, it's not really the point. You're probably supposed to slow down, but I mean, who wants to drive responsibly, right? When you're in an indestructible car that you can smash into any object and it does no damage, <laughs> why wouldn't you drive it fast? I can't remember which. I think it was, it was after the straightaway where we managed to crash it and get it off the track. We'll see if we can manage to do that again. Imagine if they updated the crash test. Uh, you have to fix. Yeah, <laughs> that would be interesting. Uh, I wouldn't be testing the cars too much. They'd be driving a little more slowly. I think. 185 miles an hour, kilometers an hour, I guess. Nope. Uh, I have to get it to like bounce off of a wall back there, and then you know I'm just gonna go back the straightaway. We'll try that again. I've got to get it. It has to bounce off the wall so it starts to pick up a little bit, so that when it hits the barrier there, it kind of it can kind of flip it. <laughs> Welcome back, Cash Money. Can you at least upshift more to the right gear? No, it's it's automatic. There's no shifting. You just push forward on the like the up key or whatever. I don't think you can make it shift. I really wish you could uh, could control the shifting a little more though. I think when I was driving, it was, I think it was the uh, the RX-7 I had it out on the track, and it wasn't shifting very well either. Oh, you can sp space bar to make a shift in handbrake. What? Why didn't I know that? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> thank you for thank you for mentioning that. I don't know why I've never noticed that in the controls. Okay, I need to ricochet off a wall. Let's see if we can flip it. No. Ah. The tires are only size 15s, but they're uh, they're pretty thick. They're they got a 60 or whatever on the profile. Oh. oh. Yeah. Okay. That that space bar is gonna come in handy. Okay, then I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna purposely hit that blockade a whole bunch because I need to. I'm trying to flip the car out off the track. Handbrake. Oh, too much. <laughs> Well, if she pauses the stream, I don't... Does the chat pause with it? I don't even know. Oh, my gosh. That was a really slippery one. I didn't even touch the handbrake there. All right. I'm going to take one more run at the wall and see if we can get this thing to fly off a, into the uh, into the other world. And if not, then maybe we'll go back and start working a little bit on, uh, on the next car. I don't think we'll have time to finish it on the stream, but... It would be interesting to kind of kind of take it out and give it a whirl. A sharp little car. I like this thing. All right, one more run of the wall. Let's see what happens. If you go through the and hit the wall, you can jump. The, oh, you can. So I gotta go through the pit. I get it. Go through the pits and then hit hit the hill. Oh, there's a there's a hill in here. Oh no! Oh the, yeah, I found a barrier. <laughs> Try handbraking into the wall and going fast as possible. Yeah, it, so if there's a hill here we can jump on, then that's what I, that's probably what I need. We got off, I mean, we jumped the fence by accident before, and it was just this crazy crash that we flew off into a tree, and that's sort of how I figured out. Oh, yeah. No, not so much. <laughs> oh, now I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. So I've got to hit it a little bit of a different angle so I don't get the fence. I'm going to try, try that one more time. I'm going to get out of the, out over the wall again. Oh, that handbrake's handy. I don't know why I didn't find the handbrake before. That's actually pretty ridiculous. Now I'm swerving all over. No, come on. Give me a good line. No. Oh, no, no. Ah, come on. All right, forget it. <laughs> I'll figure it out later. 
<laughs> that was really poor handling. Oh, I can hear the bottom of the car scraping, too. Disgusting. Does weight help have fun? Yeah, so apparently th there are some physics around weight and stuff in the game. So um, I'm going to take this car back to the shop. Uh, we've got how long left on the stream? About another... We've got about another 40 minutes left on the stream. So I'm going to start on the next car, I think. Turn to the garage. You have to hit it at 45. Yeah, I was... Uh, yeah, I was definitely not hitting it right. <laughs> We got close, but I'll play around with it a little bit, and then so the, maybe the next time that we're streaming, we can be sure to jump a car over there. The funny thing is, when you're out there, like all the roads are really weird, and when you hit them with a car, it makes your car like pop up in the air and stuff. It's very strange. Nevertheless, that was a fun that was a fun little rebuild. I like that car. I'm gonna do some more mods. I think we'll get some other some other interesting vehicles in here. Uh, let's send this out to parking, and then I want to get that uh, Tempest or whatever they called it. The dodge that they didn't name a dodge for some reason, even though they paid for the rights. I guess it was in here. Yeah, the Tempest Magnum. Check the engine. Uh, looks like there was a part missing next to it. What? I mean, it didn't say there was anything missing. I don't know. Is the new Escape is pressing test track? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. We gotta break out. It'll take me about four hours, the same as it does on a normal, uh, normal prison escape. Oh, there we go. Right, so we're gonna, I think we'll start on this one next. A little crazy looking. Bought this one for 11578 Which I guess isn't all that bad. Pretty crazy looking. It's a Plymouth. Oh, there, I guess it makes sense. That would be why they didn't call it a Dodge. Oh, and Caitlin, you can look, by the way. Everything's fine now if you didn't notice already. <laughs> Uh, did I get the day twenty in the game? Not yet. No. There's all. That's only the one mod that I've 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 uh, picked up so far. They have a flatbed truck. Yeah. In the flatbed, you can actually tip the the flatbed on it. I think. Spin. <laughs> take a spin on the flatbed truck. I wonder how well it accelerates and stuff. All right. So this will be our next project. Let's send this over to a lift. Get it all ripped apart. They paid to use two dodges. Not all. Oh, really? Okay, so they, they, they grabbed the Challenger and the uh, and the Charger then, I guess. This is all body. Body, body, body. I wonder how much it costs them to like get the licensing for cars that way. And whether there's any issue with people putting out mods that have the actual car names. Inquiring minds want to know. At least this one shouldn't have any wacky parts like mud flaps that are called mirrors. I think got a Shelby Daytona. It's nice. Yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of cool cars in there. I've seen some people that have the Lamborghini. That would be fun to, to drive around in. Uh, I gotta get this drive shaft off here first, I guess. Minor technicality. Oh, I can't get an angle at it, though. Come on. There we go. While we're down here, I'll grab this muffler because I can see it. No, I can't. <laughs> I gotta get all the bolts off here first. Now I can. Get that muffler out of here. I was previously taking all the clutch and everything off, but it turns out I don't have to. I can just grab the gearbox and we'll deal with the clutch when it's on the stand. Um, I guess I might as well grab all the suspension and everything while we're under here. Same car the way the Rio Accent are the same car. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of funny things like that where the uh, manufacturers just kind of use the same standard bodies and stuff. It was a very very like 80s and 90s thing to do. Apparently, the 70s too. <laughs> skirt, 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 skirt. What now? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm not very bright. I didn't sell off my my. My crummy parts. I still have a full inventory. <laughs> I guess once I see what I can fix of this, I'm going to sell off what I don't need. Try to clean up that inventory a bit. I have a lot of junk parts on me right now. Oh, right. Tie rods. That's what I need. Most ladders were Fiat's. Yep. Can't get the Lambo to download? Oh, that stinks. There's uh, Somebody has like an, an old Lambo and then a new one, right? I need to poke around in there some more. There, I think there's there's got to be a good 15 or 20 cars that people have done at this point. 
And then maybe more I just didn't notice yet. This is going to be a long 35 minutes. <laughs> That's a vote of confidence right there if ever I heard one, Caitlin. Alright, i got to take this set off. I think odds are pretty good we won't get the car finished. Uh, we'll, we'll probably just get it all ripped apart. Maybe get the engine finished. Probably about as far as we'll get on this one. I can get my wheel, how about it? There we go. I need to start like flipping some more cars too. Like Maybe just repairing some that I like, grab from the junkyard and sell them off right away. Probably a good way to make quick cash. Cash money is... The version of this game for old electronics, well, yeah, even on the new ones, it doesn't perform exceptionally well. Like, the computer I'm using, I only got in January, and granted, it's not like a like a super top-of-the-line machine. It's not bad. I'm using a, an HP Omen. And, it, like I said, again, it's not a, not a top-of-the-line HP Omen, but it's, it's half-decent, and uh, the performance for me isn't that great on this game either. It's playable, obviously, but it's not... Uh, not optimal. I'm only playing on medium graphics right now. It'd be nice to play it on like the high-end graphics. Play to join the after party? Yeah, I'll be on the after party for a little bit. I'm probably gonna play around with that new game I got alpha access to. Uh what was it called? I can't even think of it now. My brain just does not want to work. What are the specs of your PC that you're running? I'm looking for a laptop for school that can... So this is... Um, I can't remember what the uh, what the chipset is on it, but this is a um, an i7. I think it's like a 6700 processor or something like that. I have the NVIDIA GTX 960 video card, like 16 gigs of RAM. At some point, uh, I'd like to upgrade again. I mean, this is still a new computer for me because I only got it just this year. But when I upgrade again, I'd like to get a, a top-of-the-line video card. Something with a little more memory because this one only has like a... I think it's a 2 gig. Uh, 2 gigs for dedicated memory on the card. Which isn't optimal. But it's been running really well for me, so I guess I shouldn't complain. But this is sort of like a lower-end uh, HP Omen. and uh, Omen is the like the gaming version of computers for HP. What I really should do is probably just build my own. But I do I do like the computer, so I'm not super worried about it. Lots of parts to rip out of here. Dodge Daytona and the Plymouth Superbird were similar, but not the same car. Daytona was a Dodge Charger with an arrow. Superbird is an aerodynamic pack grafted onto the 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner. I'm always impressed by how much people know about cars. Because, like, random facts and stuff, I can, I can end up, like, all kinds of really useless random facts, but something useful, like, about <laughs> like about a car or something like that, not so much. All right, let's get the uh, the engine crane over here. We'll haul the engine out. Get it all pulled apart on the uh, little engine mount. Let's see what we can fix of this thing. Grab me my... Oh, yeah, I should probably unmount it first. There we go. Okay, they're all stripped down. It's looking uh, good in a nasty kind of way. There's a bench out. There we go. Perfect. Ah, uh, keep hitting escape. I really shouldn't do that. I'm going to grab the welder. Uh, I don't think... No, there wasn't a battery, so I have nothing to put on there. We'll send the welder over. We'll get the interior detailing done. Both cars were made for NASCAR. However, the Daytona was still too heavy, so they did the Superbird. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Another thousand dollars to weld up this thing. Zap. Put that away. We got the interior detailed. Another hundred dollars. Getting down close to a hundred thousand again. That's an interesting color. It's almost like a gray. All right, engine on the engine mount, or engine stand rather, and then uh, we can get this ripped apart. 
And once we do, then we can start to see what we can fix. I'm kind of hoping I can fix a bunch of parts on this. That would be nice. What, what am I missing? Oh, the rocker arms. Oh, wait. Haha. Uh -huh. Trying to put things on it. I want to take it off. Come on backwards. Come on. Valve push rod. There we go. I'm not a big fan on these things of having to put in like all the individual push rods and stuff. It's kind of a lot of clicking. 10k on a gaming PC? Man. If I had 10k to spend on a computer, I'd probably spend it on something else. <laughs> not, gonna, not gonna lie. Alienware if you want a good computer. Well, Alienware used to be really good, um, but they got bought up by Dell, and I feel like the quality of them have kind of down, like, backslid a little bit. Do I have a YouTube and Twitch channel? Yeah, I'm streaming right now on both Twitch and YouTube simultaneously. Uh, but everything I like for the most part, most of what I do is on uh, is on YouTube, and I just I added in Twitch just because some people wanted to see it over there. So if you go, if you're interested in the Twitch, it's uh, twitchtv slash Gaming. Okay, this is pretty much all. Whoops, I got the camera out. Crankshaft, cannot get it. Oh, I still got. Uh, forgot, <laughs> keep forgetting I have these things under now. Get our clutch all pulled apart. Get our block off here, and then we will finally see what we can fix. Oh, wait a minute. Crankshaft. That's kind of important. Okay. Got it all stripped down. Sweet. It's like five of us interesting. Yeah, so <laughs> Twitch is. I've only been streaming to Twitch, I think, for. Actually, I think I started in June. It's been a couple months now. So I've been streaming on Twitch for a couple months, but I built my audience on YouTube, so that's basically where most people are and where I, I get the most traffic from. Uh, I can't see how many I have on YouTube right now, because for some reason my window is scrolled up a tiny bit on me. Oh, I broke something. But this isn't exactly a this isn't exactly the kind of game where you get a lot of like uh, a lot of people following it at the same time anyway. All right, get our engine block on. Yeah, I fixed it. Sweet. Crankshaft, fix that too. Oh, I had an extra one. Uh, flywheel never fixes. Pistons never fix. So we got a whole bunch of piston pieces here. Two K will do. Yeah, you can get you can get a pretty decent computer for two thousand. Pistons. Got eight of these. Eight hundred dollars for a gaming PC? That's not bad, actually. Kazi got lucky and he snagged his for like three hundred bucks. Still kind of jealous about that, but it hasn't. It also hasn't been performing all that well for him, so maybe I shouldn't be too <laughs> too jealous. Rod caps need eight of these. Uh, I am going to need the uh, crankshaft bearing caps. I only need three of those. Never recommend an Asus. Yeah, it says seventy watching. Oh, that could be accurate. 16k is the subscriber count. Yeah, so we're up to uh, 16,100 and change, I think, the last time I saw, which is pretty cool. It's funny to think that when I started this year, I was under uh, under 5,000, I think. I should go back and check. I actually don't even remember now. It's been both a fast and a long year at the same time. I got my rod caps in here. Do, do, do. Yeah, eight hundred dollars really wouldn't be bad for a computer. I mean, if you can get something good, and the hard part is like, there's that point where you're not, you can get so that you're not really spending enough to do what you want to do, uh, or you're just like crazy overspending to get like way more hardware than is going to be needed for what your use case is. I, I've seen like I, I have friends and stuff that will, they'll go out and like buy top of the top of the line stuff all the time, and it just kind of goes to waste because nothing they're doing with it even comes close to stressing the machine. Although, for me, I found that upgrading the, I, the computer I had was like an old potato, basically. Um, and upgrading it made a really big difference in my YouTube process and stuff also, because I could render videos so much faster, and I could play a bunch of PC games that I wasn't playing before, which has been kind of fun. Uh, if you can salvage a case from another computer or already have a monitor keyboard, yeah. If I, yeah. Particularly if you're building it yourself, if you're or you're, you're getting somebody you know to build it. This one that I bought, it was like totally pre-built, so it's not like 
there was no way any savings involved there. Alternator, steering pump, and then um, oil filter, I guess. So we need the oil filter for the V8. And we need an oil pan for a V8 also. V8 overhead valve, I would think. Uh, alternator. Need a power steering pump. Is it the V8 power steering pump I need, or the... Yeah, just the V8. And then I'll get a fuel filter, too. Yeah, saving up the money can be a challenge. Keep loading me, you can build the biggest you could, yeah. I mean, it... it I guess it's it's one thing like if you buy something that's like a little bit too low end, and then by the time you get it running, you can't really do anything with it because everything's moved past it. But the rate of change in computers is not that great anymore. Oh man, I got the wrong oil filter. At least they're cheap. Do I ever sell any of the cars I built? Um, I'm trying to like I'm trying to keep one of each of them in the garage that I rebuild, but I am I did sell uh, a Mustang that I rebuilt, and I got like sixty thousand for that, which was nice and handy. Um, but no, I, I'm probably gonna grab some more from the junkyard to fix off camera, just so that or off recording or whatever. Oh, I thought I grabbed the, oh no, this is the ignition coil. Um, so so I'll make some extra cash that way. But uh, most of the ones I'm rebuilding, I want to keep I'm gonna keep in the garage, just so I can like build like a whole like a whole multi-level garage full of completed cars. That'd be cool. Call myself Jay Leno. If you're in Canada, I believe NCIX will uh, assemble and install your computer for you when parts you pick. Oh, that's neat. Caitlin is definitely not in Canada. She has nothing but disdain for Canadians. <laughs> All right, I need uh, an engine head, I guess. Why can't I see? Oh, there it is. There's at least one company that does that in the States. See, I'm sure there probably is. I mean, you just take a little bit of like hunting around. As long as they stand behind their work, I mean, you don't want to spend a bunch of money on a computer, particularly if it's a, kind of a big deal for you, and then have it not work. That would really be terrible. Ignition distributor is not fixed. All right, so I'm going to grab the ignition coil and the distributor. Uh, ignition coil B. Distributor. I already have a rotor, so I don't need to do that. Uh, and I think I just need a regular cap. Well, thanks for subscribing, Dawson. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> no, I was just joking about the disdain for Canadians. <laughs> she just likes to make fun of me, so... I figure every now and then I get to take a shot backward. Although, it's actually, no, it's actually Ray that kind of bugs me more. <laughs> she's, she's the one that's always making fun of me. In a lighthearted way, naturally. Okay, I need uh, clip bees. I love watching you play CMS 18. I've watched most of this uh, first time on the watching you live. Oh, welcome to the stream then, World 616. I like this game because it's just chill. I can I can kind of like kick back and there's nothing frantic I need to do about it. I can build something that almost feels like I'm making something. <laughs> almost take it up for a spin and stuff. It gives me a nice chance when I'm streaming to chat with people, which is cool. Intake manifold one car, but I do not have one of those. Let's see, one carb, there we go. This would be a neat one to drive around. I should probably make a point of not putting racing tires on it though, because I keep putting racing tires on the cars, and they just, they do not give a good traction. Uh, cam gear V8 or head valve. Where are we? There we go. I need a timing chain and stuff in here too. What would be great if they came a uh, full course so you could drive around? Yeah, so the course that they have it's so winding. Like even if a, like an old track would be neat, so you could get it up to like high speed and just like 
crank it around the track for a bit. I think that would be fun. That, the track is so winding that you can't really get up to speed except along that one straightaway. And granted, you can go out to the airport and do it, but it doesn't feel like you're really on a track then, so I don't know. It's cool and all, but it'd just be, it'd be cooler if you had like a real a real track to race around or anything. Uh, timing cover, I don't think I had. I do not. Old fart, can't help you friendly. Well, welcome, Keith. I guess in the in the world of gaming, I'm a pretty old fart too, so. <laughs> uh, let's see, timing cover, we need a V8 overhead valve. There we go. Paint it purple, oh yeah. This car we should, we should just go crazy with. <laughs> Just like painted something like flat out ridiculous. Uh, water pump, I don't think I have one, no. Water pump and crankshaft pulley. Uh, let's see, water pump, there we go. We need a water pump pulse, I might as well grab that now. Although, I probably need this one. <laughs> Let's just waste some money. Crankshaft pulley, V8, overhead valve, we'll grab that. Zebra leopard seats. I wish you could do something crazy with the seats in these. That would be funny. Better still, I think somebody should come up with a mod that lets you make a pimp car with like the fuzzy dashboard and stuff and like some dice hanging from the mirror. <laughs> Zebra pattern seats. That would be amazing. I know I've seen some low riders um, in, in the mod, which is kind of cool. But like, if you get like a low rider with the fuzzy dashboard and everything, that would be just amazing. Uh, Serpentine belt, I'm going to need a B and an A. Not just in the world of gaming, your old part, just ask your daughters, they tell you all the time. That's funny. I won't judge. Um, Serpentine belt. Mind you, my daughters tell me that I'm old all the time, too, so I, I, don't, know that that, <laughs> I don't know that makes it that big a difference, but... B to right about, there we go. There's an A, we need a B. There we go. Perfect. Plum would be a crazy color, yeah. Uh, if I dump... No, I haven't dumped my junk in the inventory. I, I'm, like I tell you, I've got a mine like a goldfish. Radiator fan. As soon as we get the engine finished, I'll, I'll get rid of all that junk. So remind me again if I don't, if I don't remember to do it, because, you know, again, goldfish. <laughs> Okay, this engine is almost finished. We got a couple more pieces to put on. We're gonna need a carburetor, which, and then we're gonna need. Let's see. This is a single, single overhead carb, so we can get a round, round base on this one. Round carb cover. We're gonna need carburetor four barrel. We we'll need a round filter. That'll get us most of those parts. And then in here, we also need the manifold. Exhaust manifold V8 overhead valve. Sauce man. Don't believe figured out what causes kids yet because they keep giving my grandkids five and counting. <laughs> five and counting, oh my gosh. <laughs> man, I have trouble with two kids. Ugh. They are simultaneously the best thing in the world and the most frustrating. Alright, we'll get our manifold on here and then I'll get all of our carburetor and Filters on. Oh, I haven't put plugs in this thing. I guess that would be kind of necessary. Here I'm thinking, man, I'm almost done, but I haven't done like I haven't done the push rods, I haven't done the rocker arms. Man, I'm just gonna this will be the car that we put together that doesn't run because it's missing most of the parts. <laughs> we'll just push it around the track. That'd be great. Spark plugs. Gonna need eight of these. Fortunately we don't have to gap them, which is good. Gosh, cryptic hard at work building cars while I'm studying here. Oh yeah, I'm slaving away in the garage. Man, you got it easy with your studying. I'm busy like, you know, working in the grease and stuff. <laughs> it's funny the things you remember from when you're younger. So, <laughs> when, uh, when I would go out to visit my dad, he, uh, because he was a mechanic and there was always a lot of, like, a lot of mechanical stuff and things to fix on the farm, 
he always had this this container of that orange hand cleaning stuff. I don't know if you've ever used it before, but it's got like this grit in it, so you it, it like scours the oil and stuff out of your skin. And every now and then, I, I come across that, and it's like one of those like funny like nostalgia memory things. Sorry, I was just the grease thing made me think of it. Okay, uh, ignition wires V eight. Your dad has three grandkids. He keeps hinting he wants more from the <laughs> sister. Oh my god. <laughs> grandkids are expensive. First TV had wood siding and dials. Oh yeah, so did mine actually. My, I, I think our first TV had a cabinet. Um, V8. Mind you, it was, it was a used TV at the time. Okay, um, what am I missing here? I must be missing something. Oh yeah, push rods. <laughs> We don't need any of this stuff. Who needs rocker arms and push rods? I think it's just the regular ones. I have 16 of these, and then we're going to need 16 rocker arms and a whole lot of bolting. There we go. What do you miss? Uh, well, we built the Porsche. It's all finished. We took it for a test drive on the track. It was pretty sweet. Uh, we're now messing around with the Tempest Magnum, which I guess is the Plymouth, and I cannot for the life of me remember the name of the actual car. Because, yeah, Goldfish Brain. <laughs> this engine is almost finished. I keep I keep rushing it by saying, I'm almost done, I'm almost done, and then I remember there's a whole bunch of stuff I have to put on. But I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I'm just about finished. <laughs> And then I have to remember to put oil in it, because that's kind of a necessity. Or optional, I mean, depending on how you look at it. Play with Superbird, thank you. Flash Dodge Daytona. Just got this game today, that's cool. It's a fun game, I like it. It is definitely not a high action game. But I like taking stuff apart and putting it back together again. Uh, I'm going to need uh, two engine head covers, I guess. Since this thing did not come with any on it at all. Uh, engine head cover will need V8 overhead valve A. And V8 overhead valve B. It was all plastic made to look like wood. <laughs> The first TV that I had myself that I got to have in my room was a small little black and white TV. With the antenna and everything. It was great. I put big stickers on the side of it because I was a kid. <laughs> Found the Discord! Yay! Um, so if anyone else is looking for the Discord, you should see the link to it in the description on both Twitch and YouTube if you scroll down to the description for the stream. Uh, if you like to chat, uh, the Discord does get uh, does get busy sometimes in there with a bunch of people chatting. Uh, I know there's a, a few regulars that are in there pretty consistently. Uh, I pop in there and chat as well myself every now and then, which is great. It's kind of nice to hang out when I'm editing a video or something to chat with people a little bit. So if you're interested in that, uh, look for that link down below. And uh, you can find it there. They've, they've got a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of like funny little things in there they've done with the bots, like saving up quotes from when I put my foot in my mouth when I'm streaming. <laughs> so they have a bunch of those quotes in there. Um, a bomb has made like a whole bunch of custom emojis and things, which is kind of cool. Plus, they uh, they also use it as an opportunity to kind of connect uh, connect for gaming. So uh, I think a couple of people have set up some servers and stuff for Don't Starve Together and what have you, which is kind of cool. Uh, all right, we got the clutch and everything put together now, and then we'll be done with this thing. We can get it off the ma the uh, little engine stand. Apparently, this mathematician beside you can't do basic math. One plus one is five. Looks like we need all the clutch parts this time. No fixie. First TV in your room was a 32-inch flat screen that's still mounted. Yep. Back in my day, the only place we saw flat screens was on Star Trek. That's the way it was and we liked it. 
What am I missing here? Oh, hold on. There we go. Bearing. Got it. Okay. I think our engine is finally all done here. Looking all fancy, shiny, and new. We'll get this off the stand. And back in our car. And then I can get rid of this thing. Assuming I can click on it. Come on. There we go. All right. I'm going to put oil in this because if I don't, I'm going to forget right away. <laughs> It's an older flat screen, yeah. Is it like a, like an old plasma or? Because there's clearly a, a Daytona slash Superbird, but I think there's a Talladega and Cyclone. Oh, cool. Hi, right, Mad Max. You did make it, but we are kind of rounding towards the end of the stream. So we're, we're actually working on the second car now. We finished the Porsche earlier. Now we're working on the next car. I was actually surprised how fast the Porsche went together. That was pretty quick. Um, I need my brake servo. I don't think I don't think I fixed that, but we'll check. Oh, I did. Sweet. Uh, battery. I can put that on the charger. For some reason, I thought this one didn't have a battery in it, but I guess it did. Well, either that or I just had an extra one kicking around. I guess that's possible too. Hi, Zach, the Ford man. Sadly, we're not working on a Ford today. It's uh, probably on the side of a road somewhere. Star Trek did predict so much modern technology. So here's the here's an interesting question for you. Did it predict modern technology, or was it instrumental in driving certain modern technology? Think about tablets and stuff, for example. Did they become a thing because somebody invented them in science fiction, and therefore science fact pushed to make them a reality? Or were they just predicting what might happen? I don't know. Mulva Klempt. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll give you a topic. Science fiction or science fact. Radiator C. We need one of those. Wasn't paying attention. Have I tossed your junk yet? <laughs> no, I have not. Because again, goldfish brain. Let's see if there's anything here I can fix. I'm pretty sure I've got it all taken. Yeah, it's all good. Let's get rid of our junk. There's a lot in here. Oops. I kind of wish the, like, sell all your junk button actually worked. It was inspiration, not prediction. Yeah, I'm, I'm inclined to think the same, actually. Oh, although it's funny, because sometimes, um, sometimes people that write science fiction will, uh, will craft something in, in their stories or whatever off of things that they've heard a little bit of. So, like, the concept of warp theory and things. So, I don't know. Maybe they kind of feed each other. It's more like a symbiotic relationship or something. But I feel like there was there was somebody who was a, like a super geek, like myself, who was watching Star Trek as a kid. I was like, oh, those tablets are so amazing, and then pushed really hard to make them have a reality. Oh my gosh, I wish all this stuff would just sell itself. This is crazy. Oops, I sold the steering wheel. That was good. <laughs> it's like we're at the casino. The machine just keeps paying off. Ugh, come on. See, all this stuff I feel like it should have been labeled as junk and it should have sold, but it just doesn't. I don't know what the deal is. It sells like a third of it, and then the rest of it you have to do manually like this. It's so frustrating. Now, uh, you know what? I'm not going to do it anymore. <laughs> There's just too much in there. <laughs> I'll deal with that later. Yeah, I found the road dead. You messaged me one minute ago. Oh, well, I, I don't have any pop ups turned on, so when I'm playing the game, I don't have anything that kind of pops up when I. kind of gets in the way of the recording. All right, let's, um, let's work a little bit on the suspension. We have. We have the engine all together. Can I put... Oh, we have the manifolds on already, so that's fine. All right, let's get underneath the car, I guess. Maybe we'll put the gearbox on. Dun, 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 dun. Sweet. <laughs> Lois, that's sweet. Gearbox, hey, we fixed it. Nice. I don't think this thing had a starter on it, so we'll probably have to buy one. Survey says... No, we did not have a starter. Uh, yeah, there we go. Made around 3k by selling those. Yeah, the parts are crazy. Like, you can you can actually make a decent amount of money by, like, going to the... going to the, I should do a little bit more of it. You just go out to the junkyard, buy up everything you can find, bring it back, fix what you can, and just sell it all, and you make, like, mad cash off it. Oh, look at that. The, 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 uh, the drive shaft doesn't line up properly. 
It's all it's all skew at the back end. Minor bug. Uh, <laughs> you can see the the emergency brake from inside the the car, even though we're underneath it. Crazy ghosty brake. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna put in the exhaust maybe now. Let's get uh, front exhaust pipe. Plus one, plus seven, plus three. Yeah, it's uh, it's very small amounts when you sell each item, but it really adds up. I said we were going to sponsor you tonight, but you're already in bed. <laughs> it's all right, Chevy. Don't worry about it. Okay. Front exhaust pipe, V8, overhead valve. Was it a... It's just this one, right, I think. Hopefully I got that right. No, of course. God. The number of times I buy the wrong piece. <laughs> I'm super brilliant. Oh, I need bushings, too. Always need bushings. Bushings. And if I was smart, I would have bought the piece that I bought the wrong one of there before I moved off the screen, but I'm not very bright. Front exhaust V8, overhead valve A. This is what I need. What's funny is this car's an official car, <laughs> yeah. Favorite car for driving is the R2 Supercharged. Oh, I have one of those in the in the garage. I just haven't fixed it up. I'd like to fix up some more muscle cars, maybe. Yeah, there's something like super sporty, but I think like most of the like the big sports cars, you you can't find them in the in the junkyards and stuff in this game. You pretty much have to like get them from the, the salon or the auction. If I'm not mistaken. Hey, fix the steering rack. Uh, sway bar never fixes, so we'll buy that. Two minute speed finish, yeah. Build fast, build fast. It just takes way too long to put all the individual parts on. There's no way you can, oh, again, I bought the wrong part. I'm gonna just to waste a whole bunch of money here. The General Lee. Um, yeah, there's actually a mod that somebody did that has all the livery for the General Lee. I should actually download that. Let's see, middle muffler, rear muffler, and then I don't think there's a... There's no exhaust pipe on this, so that's good. Grab two of these. Then we need rear muff. Uh, probably these. I'd say probably, but I don't know for sure. <laughs> I got the right one. All right, engine is in, exhaust is done. We've got uh, the little cross member in here, but we don't have any of the suspension and stuff on. Obviously, obviously it's not in a con condition to actually run or do anything with it, but it's a good start of the car. We're pretty much at that time though. Uh, thanks everyone for coming and checking out the stream. And uh, thank you Mad Max for thinking I'm the best YouTuber ever. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> You're watching some of my Catharsis videos. <laughs> I don't, unfortunately, I don't upload to the Catharsis channel much. Uh, it's pretty much only when it's a game that I don't think I can play on this channel reasonably. Uh, and then really only if I have time. So I haven't put anything up there in quite some time. Um, but that's just sort of like my extra fool around kind of channel. Uh, but thanks everyone for checking out the stream. If you don't currently subscribe to the channel, then consider clicking that subscribe button. I'd love to have you come back and check out some more videos. Uh, and just make sure you check the little bell as well so you get notifications for streams and things. I normally stream on Tuesday nights and Thursday nights at 10 o'clock Eastern time. And then uh, every now and then I also throw in streams like tonight where I'll just pick another night then to play a game that I want to play. And we'll hang out on stream and a little bit and chat. Thank you to all of you who are active in the chat and uh, enjoying the game and having a little conversation with me. That's probably my favorite part about streaming is that chance to talk to people while I'm playing rather than just talking to myself. Uh, so I do appreciate that. Uh, if you are interested, uh, you can also click on the sponsor button and uh, sponsor the channel. And then uh, as we get more sponsors, that'll open up some more custom emojis and stuff that people can use that uh, sponsor the channel as well. But uh, thanks again, everyone. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.